Lisa Donner here for Liberty Nation, and with me today is our editor at large, James Fight. James wrote an interesting article called Gerber Ad Causes Uproar Over Downs Abortions. Uh, tell me now, what did Gerber essentially do? They put a Down syndrome baby in one of their ads? Well, Gerber has, in recent years, started selecting a, a baby each year to be the face of their ad campaign. And uh, different, you know, parents send in pictures of their kids, and uh, when a winner is selected, they win a cash prize, and their baby is the face on Gerber for the year. And of course, and you, for, you sent your baby in, right? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't realize there was a fifty thousand dollars cash prize, or maybe I would have. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so Lucas Warren, this this little boy with Down syndrome, is the 2018 pick, and of course, it's had a very interesting effect. Well, if a picture could uh, paint a thousand words, as they say, uh, what has putting this Down syndrome child done in the public square? Well, it's, it's sort of brought back to the front the, uh, the, the, the issue of aborting children with Down syndrome. The Netherlands has, uh, you know, they, they claim to have almost eliminated Down syndrome through abortion. And of course, a lot of Americans don't respond well to that. And so immediately after that, Ohio actually instituted a ban against Down syndrome abortions. But then it sort of faded out of the media. And now that Gerber has, has picked up this, this child with Down syndrome as the face for their 2018 ad campaign, it's back in the media. And since, uh, since that announcement in early February, five states have actually introduced bans prohibiting the abortion of children with Down syndrome. Now, I'm the mother of two special needs kids, neither of which have Downs, but I also have for the last 15 years been teaching special needs uh, Sunday school at church, and I do have Downs kids in there. And I have to say they are summarily a very charming and wonderful group. So what does aborting babies with Down syndrome really accomplish? Well, it doesn't, it certainly doesn't accomplish what those who advocate for it say it does. Uh, I suppose it accomplishes not having people with Down syndrome alive, but as far as curing Down syndrome, Down syndrome is not a heritable disorder. It, it's a random mutation of the genes. So no matter how many, as I said in the article, no matter how many babies you kill, you're never going to reduce the chances that Down syndrome is going to occur. So, uh, so you're, you're not really eradicating Down syndrome by uh, aborting Down's babies. No, no, they're just uh, they're just dressing up the wholesale murder of disabled children to make it sound nicer than it really is. Why doesn't the left support laws that protect the lives and rights of the disabled? I mean, it would seem like a classic leftist progressive. Uh, <laughs> Uh, topic. Well, it would, because, you know, if you were to make fun of a person with Down syndrome, for example, the left would, would roast you. Uh, well, but, you remember the campaign when uh, Donald Trump supposedly did that, and the left jumped oh, all yeah. over him. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I've seen that meme floating around where uh, it said, if Donald Trump cured cancer, the left would protest it and say they had a right to die from cancer. Uh, <laughs> They, I'm sure that there's that's part of it, but ultimately, you know, the left likes to preach on tolerance and acceptance, but they don't really practice what they preach. Uh, you know, it's wrong to be racist and it's wrong to to discriminate against people for having disabilities, but then you know they make this argument that oh well, those poor parents, we should let them abort these children and not have to deal with this. Well, you know, they didn't sign on for that burden. Uh, in reality, though, it's just an excuse. I mean, the left wants to push abortion, and that's just a convenient argument. Well, now, here we are in the 21st century. Uh, what sort of life can a child with Down syndrome expect? Well, much better than they once could. Uh, of course, they're still at risk for a, numer uh, a number of issues, heart issues, breathing issues, etc. cetera. Uh, but their general quality of life has greatly improved. 
Uh, for example, in 1983, the average life expectancy was about 25, uh, whereas today it's 60. And, well, you know, children with Down syndromes go to public schools. They, you know, they interact and mingle with non-disabled people. Uh, there is a, they'll always experience some cognitive delay, but that's certainly not to say that they can't learn anything else that anyone else could learn. Uh, all in all, a person with Down syndrome could lead a very positive and healthy and happy life. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to bring up that at my son's graduation uh, this uh, spring at a career center, which was essentially a vocational uh, school, they had as a keynote speaker a fellow who has Downs who's on a presidential task force. And he was so inspiring. And he has done quite a bit with his life. And to have aborted that young man would have been, I think, a tragedy. Thanks, Jim, for joining us. This is a fascinating subject, and uh, I'm glad to see actually some movement on this. Who would have guessed that an ad and a picture would have made so many changes? Thanks for joining us. Hey, I'll take it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, me too. Lisa Donner here with James Fight. Join us again for another LNTV, and do remember to read Jim's fine article on LibertyNation.com. Tune in to our podcast, The Uprising, and don't forget, now you can listen via SoundCloud to many of our articles. For Jim Fight, I'm Lisa K. Donner, and this is LNTV.